When I joined this business with my father, I used to say, why do you do it like that? He said, well, that's the way we've always done it. And I said, well, that's a very good reason to change it. Just don't go with the herd. But it requires courage to say no. I had to say to him, I know we've just met, and you seem like a really decent guy, but I have to be completely forthright with you and let you know that we have, in the past, had poor experiences with your firm. It requires courage to go against the trend. I knew it was the right thing to do for the company. The case was very strong but the project was very, very risky. It requires courage to do a good appraisal of somebody. My background was entirely in classical music as a cellist. I had no financial or business experience at all. I think I like brave people. I turned up to New York with a wife, four children and a suitcase. No business cards, no staff. And in fact, I don't think I had a desk at the time. But we had big plans to actually fulfill a dream of building something fantastic here in the US. I want to be a quality business, not a, a mass-produced business. A saying that Robert Hiscox is infamous for is, if you lose me money, I'll forgive you, but if you lose me my reputation, I won't. And that's what Hiscox is about. Our reputation is what stands us apart from our competition. We do depend a lot on lots of little things being done well, and I am a, an obsessive about the detail. Part of the culture is that we're always looking for a better way. There must be a better, faster, more efficient, more user-friendly way of doing something. I want this to be a human company where we treat each other decently, and the customer, of course. And I would hope that at Hiscox, people do respect the customer. If you love the customer, you should think, what does the customer want? I received a personal letter from the client thanking me for the help and the kindness that I and Hiscox had afforded him and his family during what was a really difficult time. I keep that letter in my drawer, it's still in my desk drawer today, and that reminds me exactly what we're here to do. I actually call in integrity, doing what you said you'd do when you said you'd do it. I mean, you've made a promise. If you've made a promise, you must keep it. We are sold you a promise to pay, and we will make you good. They make sure that all the difficulty, as far as is humanly possible, is taken away from such a massive trauma as we experienced. They're true to their word. When what you've insured against happens and disaster strikes, we will make you whole again and enjoy doing it. Thank you.